Hi, so um, we had lots of good conversations today about your May EOG review and um, a lot of the questions were around resources and things that you could do for review. And so I did want to um, send out two videos to you again on Mastery Connect. And so this video is going to be all about how taking how to take your existing resources, the ones you already have, and um, how to put them in Mastery Connect so the kids can get used to working with something online. So um, first of all, let me just say that um, this is going to be from the, excuse me, from the EOG, the released test, excuse me, but I wanted to treat it like a review, real review situation. And in a real review situation, I'm not going to try to hit them with the whole test. I want to do just a couple questions a day, right? Um, and build their stamina over time, maybe increase the number of questions per day. So um, this is, I'm going to pretend this is my very first day and I'll, all I want to do is the very first passage and I'm going to do two questions. So um, I went to the assessments tab at the top and then, sorry, we can't see it right here, but very easily, once you hit assessments, you should see a blue sign at the top that says um, add assessment. So this is the page that you'll end up when you get there. And everything else is very intuitive. So subject, whatever your subject is, in my case it was language arts, um, it should automatically drop down to the NC standard course of study. If it doesn't click it, but like I said, it, it should. Um, then for class, it'll give you a drop down of your trackers. Just click the tracker you want it to be in. So if this is language arts, click your language arts tracker. And then, um, so when it has standard, if your questions are all connected to one standard, you can um, click that one standard. But I usually like to default to multi-standard um, because that way you can put in the standard. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. Obviously, I titled this. When I got here to assessment source, um, so there are several different options you can pick. But if you're wanting to put in your own materials, you're going to click upload a file. And so, and then you'll just upload whatever the document is that you wanted. In my case, it was the first three pages of the released EOG. So that's what I uploaded. Um, and then you should see a drop down box that looks like this if you're doing multiple choice. And if you're not, then you can change your question type. So, for example, let's say you're not doing multiple choice, you want to do true false or like a rubric based, all that can be here. Um, and you can change it that way. Um, so again, my released EOG PDF for the day has two questions. So let's say the correct answer to number one is C. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Correct answer to number two is B. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Um, let's say the first one is RI 5.2. And the second question connects to RL 5.7. So you're going to change your standard there. And then the last portion here is um, mastery near mastery, mastery near mastery. So let's say they only have a possibility of one point. So mastery would be one, near mastery would be zero, because <laughs> that's the only option. Mastery would be one, near mastery would be zero. And then you click create assessment. Oh, I've done something wrong. Oh, sorry. You always have to check this box. Create assessment. And that's it. And again, if it's not already defaulted to your tracker, which it should, because you should have clicked that drop down, you'll just click add to tracker. And here you go. That's all.